This is a demo of a computer chess game that I made using Python, specifically using the Python Pi game module. It has both a one and two player mode. And so in this demo, I'm going to show the one player mode. In the one player mode, I'm going to play against the AI that I built, which runs on the minimax algorithm. The way the minimax algorithm works is that first, the AI calculates the score of a chess position. In chess, a player's score is calculated by taking each pawn to be worth one point, knights and bishops to be worth three points, rooks to be worth five points, and queens to be worth nine points. The AI will then take its score and subtract it from my score to get a net score on the position. If the AI gets checkmated, the score is negative infinity, and when I get checkmated, the score is positive infinity because those are the critical op uh, those are the critical positions that end the game. It does this for every one of its possible moves, trying to find the best move by maximizing its score. When it considers my moves, it will calculate every one of my possible moves and my best move will be when its score is at a minimum, hence the name mini max algorithm. When there are multiple moves that have the same best score, the AI will just randomly pick one of those moves. So right now, I only have it set to evaluate at depth one, which means it will only consider its move then my move, and it will not consider any moves deeper than that. Also, this way of scoring a chess position is pretty basic because it depends only on material and doesn't explore the nuances of each chess position. Truly evaluating a chess position is harder than just counting up the material. You also have to consider stuff like the activity of pieces, for example. So because of this, I programmed it to play a predetermined chess opening known as the King's Indian Defense, which is pawn to d6 when I play e4 to make sure I can't play e5. The knight comes out to f6, and the bishop has to be developed to g7, in which case it will take the longest diagonal of the board, also known as the long diagonal in chess. And this is an opening that you can play against basically any other open against anything the opponent plays, which is why I used it for the AI. And it essentially just gets the AI out of the opening, castled, and completely unscathed, which is extremely important. And so uh, for the rest of the time until I checkmate the opponent, I'm just going to, I guess, commentate on the game. I'm like 15 to 1600 on chess.com. So um, I guess I can give some pretty decent commentary, I think. And yeah, so um, he played a5, and I was thinking he was going to play a4 at some point, but then he, for some reason, moved his rook to a7 and queen to a, uh, d7. So uh, my entire idea is just to attack him on the king side. So probably want to play h4 i don't see why i can't so i'll play that and uh and he's moving his queen around a lot in the opening which is odd but um um i can push but what if i just stalled for a move just get another piece developed and he he moved his rook to a7, then back to a8, which is just a waste of time. So what I can do is I can get my bishop developed. And he still hasn't put that much pressure on my position so far. So, And normally wanted to develop the knight to the center, but it cleverly saw that if it did do that, I would have pushed uh, d5, and that's a fork, and I would have won a piece. So instead, I'm going to attack on this side of the board because I think I'm ready. I have all my pieces developed. And he takes, which is going to open up the G file. And I thought about pushing, forcing his knight's move and then taking here. That would have also, in hindsight, that might have been a better move. Um, so I can push, but then the bishop drops back and I don't really have anything. Uh, I can go here. And what that does is it attacks the queen, forcing the queen out of the center of the board. Queen drops there very bravely, just stands there. Um, so I want to move my rook here to pressure the bishop, but then his knight can take the pawn. And I don't like to hang pawn. So instead what I'm gonna do is, I think I'm going to move my bishop here to try to trade off that bishop. And that's how I'm gonna eliminate that bishop. That bishop is, the bishop and knight are the only two pieces that are defending his king right now, and he's just gonna let me do that. So thank you. And um, D6, 
he wants to trade. Okay. Just wants to trade there. And then. Yeah, I thought this was checkmate if I just move my rook to g3. Does he have a defense? Yeah, I don't see it. So check, king there, and that's mate. And if you guys were wondering, if he blocked the knight, my queen can go here. That's also mate. So yeah, that's checkmate. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a pretty quick game because again, I just played my AI at depth one. So it wasn't exactly playing all the best moves. Um, if you're interested in something like this, please check out the GitHub link in the description below to see the full code that I put together. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.